You know, we all heard Jesus said, forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive again and forgive seven times 70. And that's to me, that's just the beginning. It looked like to forgive is a step one. And there's another step that would truly heal our hearts and would take the effect of the damage that was done to us. There is a step two, because if I only forgive someone for striking me in the right cheek, it's still my cheek would, will hurt and I will remember the rest of my life that I, someone hit me so hard in my life, caught me off guard. The pain is always there. there I will remember what happened to me. Even if I say I forgive, there is another step. What is that another step that would truly help us to not only forgive, but forget, even forget what happened to us, forget the pain, forget that incredible collision with someone and get healed. What is the second step? The second step, I believe, is when we bless those who hurt us. That's what the Lord Jesus said. Let me say it again. To bless those who curse you. And he said, what good is it? Not only what good is it in heaven and in the eyes of God. What good is it? What good will bring you if you only love those who love you? What good is it? We always think when he said, what good is it? We are like, oh, in the eyes of God, it's not good only to love those who love me. But in the eyes of lo lo love and God, it's good to love those who are my enemy. Also, you can say, there is no good will come only when you love people that they love you. Good will come to you when you love your enemy. Okay, that's the step two. But how can I love my enemy? How can I love the person that who, even it's not even my enemy, it's my competition. You know, in this age and time, everybody there competing against everybody. Go look at the social media. It's all competition. I'm part of it. Compete, compete, compete. Succeed, succeed, succeed. Take the number one place if you cannot take the second or the third place. Move faster, learn things to compete and to become number one, right? Be number one. How can I love even the people I'm competing against and how can I even love the enemy? That's even almost out of question. But let's just say, how can I love the person I'm even competing with? Or how can I love the person who hurt me, my enemies? By the way, we think those people whom we are competing against, they are our enemies. But anyway, but Bible said, love your enemies. How, how can we do that? What is this step two? To me, Jesus gave us the answer. He said, bless your enemy, bless those who curse you. There is something so incredible when we pray and bless those who are our competition. You bless them, you take time to pray for them. When I say you, me included. We take time not just in passing by 10 seconds. Okay, Lord bless my competition or bless my enemy. No, we take time and keep blessing them, keep praying for them until our heart is solid gold toward them. Maybe you have a heart of solid gold toward God. Maybe you have a heart of solid gold toward your loved one. But the Lord wants us to give us the heart of solid gold toward our enemies and even toward those who we compete. This competition is not good. We're all in it. But anyway, to have love God with all your heart 
I could say love God with the solid gold heart and love others too. Right? How can I have a solid gold, pure gold, golden heart toward others to pray for them? How can I carry and have and receive the golden heart toward my enemy to pray for them? That's all I want to share. In His beautiful name and His, in the name of His golden heart. When He was on the cross, He said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. Right there He was interceding for Pharisees. It's incredible. And it's still... He's standing in the right side of the throne, interceding. And we think only He intercedes for us as a believer. He intercedes for humanity. That's our Jesus. Start by praying for your, those who you believe they're your competitors. Start from there and then we will get to the enemy.